Christoph Certified Trainer. Welcome to my YouTube channel, EJ Tech House, once again. On today's agenda, I will show you how to run um, PowerShell or the Cloud Shell from Azure Active Directory portal or from the, uh, which is also called the, the Entra ID portal. All right, so uh, Microsoft is moving away from Azure Active Directory, which it which you can access by just navigating to portal.azure.com to Entra ID portal, which you can access by just navigating to entra.microsoft.com. So without wasting much time, right, I'll proceed to share my screen. I'll proceed to share my screen. And then um, I have my my portal.azure.com open here. Yeah. Um you can you can just to just to explain further, just to explain further, right? Um when you go to the Microsoft 365 portal, you can see that it's it no longer shows the Azure Active Directory here, Azure AD here now shows identity, which if you look at, to the bottom, you would see HTTPS um, entra.microsoft.com. So without wasting much time, um, I'm here in the portal.azure.com. All I need to do is check at the top here, you would see the Cloud Shell icon, right? If I move around this, you would see the Cloud Shell icon, which is also the same icon for PowerShell. Oh, let me see if I could search here. Should be able to see um, that by searching. So let's wait. Uh, okay, it's taking a while. Taking a while. Uh, okay. So let's just allow that. Or oh, let's duplicate this and then let's go back here. And then I click on the shell here, cloud shell here. So it should bring up the page where I need to run my PowerShell script. So is before now you could use the PowerShell ISC and I go to start and I type PowerShell. I could run the PowerShell ISE. And then I could run the, the the normal PowerShell, right? I have to run them as administrator and then try to connect to Azure, right? Whenever I want to run some Azure commands. So now I don't need to do that, especially when I'm logged into my to my Azure Active Directory portal, right? So all I need to do is click on this and then you can see it's request, requesting the cloud shell, and that is successful. And then try to connect to the terminal. So this would be run as administrator. And then as you can see PowerShell here. You can see you can turn it off. You can click on the help icon, There's a setting icon also. And then um, and other things. You could even create um, a new session, right? Basically, I can click on PowerShell. So, so before now, if you're running this for the first time, you have the option to to either choose to run your scripts using the bash shell or the PowerShell, right? And uh, I I am confident or I'm comfortable with the PowerShell, so I prefer using the PowerShell. And also note that if you do not have an active subscription, you can't you can't run um, PowerShell from Azure Active Directory portal. So um, thank you very much for listening to me and for watching my video. Um, I would like you to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. Like this video and also share with other professionals or those who you know um, might need this video. Thank you very much and have a great day. Cheers. Bye-bye.